Baby, I could sleep a whole week. <laughs> what a night. Yeah, it was very difficult for all of us. But fortunately, we were able to work it out. Thanks to you. Oh, no. Thanks to Whitney's willingness to listen. Yeah, we almost lost Whitney. I mean, sweetheart, if you hadn't stepped in when you did, she would have moved to L.A. with that punk. You handled things so perfectly. I'm just so proud of you. You stepped up to the plate, honey. I mean, you got Whitney to listen to reason, and now she's going to stay here in Harmony. Oh, for six months, anyway. Well, you know, after six months, Whitney will be completely over Chad. He'll be out of her system, and she'll be back to normal. Hmm. Back the way things should be. I hope so. Sweetheart, I am really sorry for the way I reacted seeing you and Julian together. I know you are, sweetheart. You know, I should have known better. You would never be involved with a pig like that. Honey, I don't want to talk about Julian. He has, he has nothing to do with our life. I'm sorry I brought it up. You know, Whitney's at home with us, safe. And tomorrow is a new day. And I'd like to start it fresh and put all of this behind us. Everything's going to be okay with our family, TC. As long as we stay together and we don't let anything come between us, everything's going to be okay with our family. Mm. I love you so much, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you too. You are a perfect woman. I married the perfect woman. That's why I was telling Liz the other day. After I steal your husband and reveal your past, you'll lose everything. Your house, your job, your family, everything. I think it's time we started thinking about asking Liz to leave. Sweetheart, where'd this come from? Well, it's something I've been thinking about for a while now. Honey, why do you want Liz to leave? She's a wonderful person. Is there something you're not telling me? Sweetheart, why do you want Liz to leave? I mean, she is such a wonderful person. Is there something you're not telling me? No. No, honey, it's just that when she came to stay in our garage apartment, it was just supposed to be temporary. And now it seems like she's not planning to leave. You know, and she's acting like she's part of our family and she's involving herself in things that are really not her concern. Sweetheart, I don't see that. Well, I do, and I don't want outsiders interfering in our family. It causes problems. I still don't see what you're trying to... Do you see what's happening with Sam and Grace? You mean with Ivy living with them? And David staying right next door at the B&B. It's making a lot of trouble for them. Honey, that is completely different than what's going on with Liz. I mean, Liz is a good person. I mean, she's solid. I mean, I really feel for Liz. She has been through so much. All the horrible things her sister did to her. I mean, I really, really understand why Liz wants to be a part of our family. I mean, it's comforting to her. It makes her feel good. I mean, I could tell she would like a family of her own. Then let her go out and find one, TC. This is our family. Sweetheart, I've never heard you talk like that. You're such a generous person. I mean, you let people stay at our house countless times. Look, I know, honey. I, it's just... It's just that with everything that our family has been through lately... I think that we need to stick together, and I don't want any strangers influencing our family. That's all I'm trying to say. Honey, are you sure that's all it is? I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. Tonight, we're not going to talk about anybody. Not Julian, not Chad, nor Liz. I just want to focus on us.